Shalom and welcome back. We are making a great part, another great part. You can kind of tell I enjoy all these parts. You know, they're all they're all special. They're all great in their own way. Kind of like all my students and all my viewers too. You guys are the best. Thanks. Uh, anyways, this is the tire right here. This one's kind of tough. It's a, it's a good little it's a good little exercise here. Um, they don't tell you the starting dimensions, which is sort of weird. They just say eyeball it. It's a you know, but then they give you a dimension right here. So I'm just gonna roll with that. It's 1.65 and uh, with a thickness of one inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that right here uh, with a 1.65, 1.65 inch circle right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the offset tool, which is right here, and that basically just creates a concentric circle. Uh, you can also do concentric rectangles and uh, uh, triangles and whatever. You can do any shape, I think, pretty much with the offset. I believe it has to be a closed loop. But anyways, uh, we're going to make this, and it has a thickness of 0.1. Remember, you can just edit the the uh, dimensions right there as you create it. All right, there we go. Then we'll just finish this up, and uh, we'll extrude it. Now, I don't think they specify an extrusion depth either, but I remember from doing the wheel that it's 0.57 is our extrusion. Now, this is another great time, just like when we did the wheel, to use a symmetric extrusion. So we're going to go ahead and use that symmetric extrusion and click OK. Now, uh, the tricky part of the tire is, is that we have to get kind of get to that center. You know, there's there's the center. We got to get to the center so we can make our stuff coming out of the center like that, right? So we got to figure out a way to get to the center. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both of them just so you know. Uh, the first way is to use plane and plane. Oh, pardon me. Sorry, mid plane between two planes and just put one on one side, one on the other. Then you can see I got that plane right there. The other way to do it is to go and open up extrusion one right here. That's the one we just made in our browser. And uh, right click on sketch one. Uh, please. Right click on sketch one. Where are you? Come on now. Right click on sketch. Oh, there we go. And we'll go to share sketch right there. So then that sketch is sort of available to be used. You can see it pops up right there as a pinned sketch, a shared sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and edit that sketch right there. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So then we'll go back to our drawing here and uh, we'll go up here. And now we need to take a careful look at this. And it's kind of hard to see this. Let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger. Perhaps we can't, but we could, I mean, we could zoom in on it if we really need to. All right, that's looking a little bit better. All right, so we have four degrees here off of vertical and four degrees off of vertical the other way, and then a 0 0.03 inch uh, offset ring on the inside. Let's go ahead and do that uh, right here. We'll go ahead and draw our line from the uh, center point here up all, and we'll just go all the way, why not? And we'll do one from here uh, back up here like that probably could have used a mirror or something there but anyways we'll just do this and we'll dimension it oh, come on now dimension from the uh, is this gonna work okay well you know what we're gonna have to do a uh, construction line up the middle so let's just go ahead and make this a construction line right there okay now I can dimension to that construction line very very easily that's uh, four degrees and then the other side is also four degrees. Good times, four degrees. All right, and then we'll do our offset again right here. 0 0.03, 0 0.03. There we go. Oh, good times, but it's a construction line, so I'm gonna just click on it, and I'm gonna uncheck the construction line, and now it is no longer a construction line. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to uh, get on the trim tool here. So we're going to jump on that trim tool, and we're just going to start chopping things left and right here. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Let's. Oh, did did I be gone too much? Let's let's come back. Uh, trim. Be gone, be gone, and be gone. Why is that still there? Weird. Maybe I did two of them. All right, so we zoom in. We see we still have this. We don't. It doesn't really matter if we have this or not since this is a construction line, so I'll go ahead and leave most of it. Uh, we shall now, shall we finish our sketch? Is that what we should do? Yeah. Yep, so we trimmed it up, so there's a, a single rib right there. 
and we're going to do another symmetric slash mid-plane extrusion to uh to go ahead and make this thing so here we go finish sketch all right now this one's a little bit tricky and my mouse is out of battery so this could be a little bit more of an adventure than it normally is we got to extrude and we got to get that okay that was actually easy wow i'm pretty happy about that i thought it was gonna be more of a challenge all right so there we go we're gonna do a uh symmetric extrusion now it's going all the way to the edge there you can see we don't want it to go that far if you look at the picture let's go 0.3825 that's not bad i think i'm gonna go a little bit longer i'm gonna go like 0.45 or so yeah that looks good all right cool so there is one of those uh ribs that are on the that are on the tire let me scroll down so we can see it yep so now we want to pattern it the remaining ribs are they really going to make me count let's see so let's do a little trick here one two three four of them in one quarter of the wheel so i'm just going to go ahead and make 16. i think that'll work out pretty nicely again i'm going to go to my circular pattern pick the rib uh, pick my rotation axis and I'm gonna make a 16 of them right there bang we're done all right so now we have this right here and we have one last thing to do uh, we have ourselves this little thing right here it's not this little thing this little circle right here and uh, if you look at the picture it's got this very very thin rib or, or would you call that a rib a very very thin center line if you look at the actual tire if you guys have those uh, you can take a look at them as well and we're just going to do a thin extrusion of that line right there so i'm going to go ahead and click on the extrude button and i'm going to grab that circle which is pretty hard to get in there okay there we go wasn't as hard as i thought again look at that uh just slaying today all right so we're going to do a symmetric extrusion and we'll go ahead and make this nice and thin so let's try like point point zero five ah uh, you, you know what too big let's try point zero two oh i'm banging the computer uh, yes perfect all right uh, 0 0.02 and we'll click OK and there you go you have the wheel now it looks kind of ugly right now though because you have this like weird sketch stuff you have all that uh, we kind of want to get rid of that so I'm gonna just go to this sketch one right here it's shared let's see what happens I'm just gonna uncheck this visibility box right there and you can see we're back to looking nice and beautiful all that the last thing we should probably do is uh, change the color of it and perhaps even Perhaps we'll even change the, uh, the, the what do you call it, the materials. So there we go. We'll make the whole thing green. There you go. Nice. Oh, that's a little too teal. We'll go green and we'll just, we'll darken her up just a little bit. Well, maybe something like that. Oh, and I ah, did it. Okay, good. All right, so we turn to green, and then we can also change the uh, materials right here. We'll go to our uh, default material, and uh, we'll see if rubber is one of those materials. If not, there's other things we can do. Yeah, other – oh, there's – well, you can just make it green rubber. That made the outside ring green rubber. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Is uh, green and – or rubber an option on there? Rubber. Rubber is an option. So I think I have to pick a part six right here, and then we'll change it to rubber. All right, it is rubber. Okay, good. There you go. So we got our, our green rubber. Uh, we have our green rubber part, and we got our color. Everything looks good. There you go. Thanks for watching.